Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making clay pot soy braised pork belly with chestnuts and goji berries. So let's uh, review the ingredients. Here I have a piece of parboiled pork belly and I'll show you how I did it. To prep the pork belly, we're going to parboil the belly in a pot of boiling water. Add this in. So once this has come back up to a boil, let it simmer for five minutes. Okay, five minutes has elapsed, and you can see by parboiling the pork belly, it has cooked out some of the impurities and some fat, and the pork belly has also shrunk up, and this will make it easier to uh, cut later on. So now turn off the heat, remove the pork belly, and give it a quick wash and rinse, and let it cool down. And next we have chestnuts. And I'm using a fresh chestnuts that's already been shelled and skinned. And you can use a dried uh, chestnuts also. Just make sure to soak it in hot water for 30 minutes. And if there's some little skin left, if you can take it off, do that. If not, it's okay. And to prep the fresh chestnuts, uh, what I did was place it on the cutting board, flat side down, and cut a crisscross pattern on top of the dome side and boil it in water for five minutes. And that will make it easier to remove the shell and the skin. And for the dry seasonings, I'm using a stick of cinnamon, and this is a dried goji berries. I have a few star anise and a bit of rock sugar. I have tons of garlic, ginger, green onion, Shanghai bok choy, Shaoxing wine. I'm using both light and dark soy sauce. I have sesame oil back here. And this is a homemade chicken stock. I have seasoning salt mix, black pepper, and a bit of cornstarch slurry. For the prep, we'll start off with the pork belly. I'm going to cut it into like three slices, but yet I'm not going to cut it all the way through. So cut it about three quarters of the way through. And next we can give this a quick marinade. I'm going to add some seasoning salt. You want to make sure you get it in between the cuts. Add the black pepper also. And season it generously. Place it back into your container. And we're going to drizzle the dark soy in it. This will give it a nice color. And we sear it in the clay pot. Make sure to get the skin. Okay, so this is done. Uh, set this aside and let it marinate for at least 30 minutes. I'll wash up and we can continue with the rest of the prep. Next, we can slice the ginger. The garlic I'm going to leave whole and it's already been crushed. We'll just slice the ginger. That's good. And we can also cut the green onion. I'm going to cut it into quarters. But I'm going to separate the whites from the green. And finally, we can cut the Shanghai bok choy just in half. And for the chestnuts, we're going to leave it whole. And if you've never had chestnuts before, they're quite starchy with a sweet and creamy white kernel. And they're going to absorb all the flavors in the clay pot. 
So all the prep is done, we'll wait for the pork to finish marinating and we can start cooking. So I'm going to cook the braised pork in a clay pot and it's important when you're using a clay pot to not expose it to an extreme temperature change. So you need to bring the heat up slowly or else it will crack. So I have the heat set at medium low. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. And the first thing we're going to do is sear off the pork belly. We'll add it to the pot. And I'm increasing the heat. And you can see that it's starting to heat up. And what we want to do is sear the pork belly a little bit. I've turned the heat up to a medium high. And this will take about maybe five minutes. And it doesn't have to be super brown. And this looks fine. So let's remove it from the clay pot. We'll add a little more oil. We'll cook up the ginger and garlic. Adding the white part of the green onion. Add the chestnuts. And just toss this for about a minute. Then we'll add so the seasoning. We'll add the sesame oil. Soy sauce. Add the shelter wine. Add the seasoning salt, black pepper. We'll add the dried seasoning, cinnamon bark, rock sugar, the anise, and the goji berries. We'll also pour in the chicken stock and return the pork. I'm also going to add the dark soy that was in the marinade. I'm turning the heat to a medium high. So now bring the mixture up to a boil. Okay, so now that the braising liquid has come up to a boil, we can remove some of the foam. So now let's turn this down to low. So now we'll give the braising liquid a taste and you can adjust the seasonings uh, to your liking. Mm, that's very nice. If you like it a little sweeter, you can add a little more sugar. So now the temperature is set at low. We're going to cover it and let it slow simmer for two hours. You know, I've decided to cut the pork belly into strips. So just use a scissor. And this way, the belly will be submerged in the braising liquid a little bit better. There you go. That looks good. Okay, continue to let this simmer away. Okay, the pork belly is going to be done in another like five minutes. So in between, let's uh, parboil the Shanghai bok choy. Just need to blanch it for like 30 seconds. We want it to retain the, the crispy texture. And then cook away some of the rawness. Okay, 30 seconds is up. Turn off the heat. Let's remove the vegetables.
Now, let's check on the pork belly. It's been braising for two hours. Oh, that looks really good. Let's skim off some of the fat. And it's important that you don't overcook the pork belly. It can become too gelatinous and it's just really heavy in your stomach. And you can see that it's pork tender, but it has just still a little give, so that's good. I'm going to remove the pork belly and thicken up the sauce. This looks so good. It smells wonderful. And I'm going to turn the heat up and let this come up to a boil slightly. And we can remove the ginger slice. The garlic you can eat if you like. It's going to be soft and tender. And the chestnuts are going to be super tender too. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It kind of melts in your mouth. I'm going to remove the onion. The cinnamon stick. And you can leave the star anise in the simmering broth. It looks nice. Skim off as much fat as you can. And it's starting to bubble up here. Let's thicken the sauce with a cornstarch slurry. And you can make it as thin or thick as you like it. And make it super saucy here. Ooh, this looks good. Okay, so turn off the heat. Let's uh, put this dish together. And here's the super bubbly uh, pot. I'm going to cut the pork with the scissors into big chunks. And this is just falling off tender. And if you want, you can also cut it on a cutting board. I just don't want to wash something extra. I don't mind a little bit on my hands. This is going to be super delicious. And also, I'm going to add the green onions on top. I can mix it up a bit. Make it all saucy looking here. And also, just put all the vegetables on the side. Hey, this looks super scrumptious. And here we have a super delicious clay pot soy braised pork belly with chestnuts and goji berries. This Cantonese homestyle clay pot braised pork belly has a rich, earthy, savory flavor from the soy sauce, the chestnuts, and the goji berries. Add a slight sweetness along with the rock sugar. The fresh taste of the bok choy is a nice contrast to the richness of the pork belly. You can serve this with steamed buns, rice, noodles, or even some crusty bread to soak up all the sauce. This is a wonderful, hearty autumn winter dish. Enjoy! Okay, let's see if Shadow likes it. Ooh, yummy. She loves braised pork and soy sauce. Thank you for watching everyone. Until next time, eat well and be healthy. Good girl.